Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to the first intro episode of Bite the Bullet. I'm bringing back one of my most popular series from FIFA 15 and we're going to give it a good old run in FIFA 16. Your support in the last year's series was absolutely mind-boggling. Phenomenal, in fact. And if we can get anywhere near the support from last year on this year's series, that would be absolutely awesome. So this series is a Road to Glory style series featuring Luis Suarez second in form, the 90 to rated beast. He will feature in every single game that we play over the next month or so and during that time we will be going from a non-rare silver team and building and building different hybrid squads, a full Barca team to fit Luis Suarez into and of course a La Liga team as well. So in order to go from a non-rare silver team featuring Suarez to the beastly hybrids and the full Barca team with the Messi, the Neymar, all of that good stuff, we're going to need to do some things along the way. We need to play games and we need to score goals, we need to make and create goals with Suarez in order to unlock shots on a target. The more goals we score, the more games we win, equals the more shots we get to take on the target, and that is what's going to unlock some players to progress throughout this series. Now, if you remember correctly, I have this crossbow thing, which I use to take my shots on a target. It's got little suction bullet things which stick to the target when they hit. I've created a target system whereby you can hit big targets and get a couple of points, or you can go for the real lottery win of hitting a target worth like 10 points um, but it's a very small and difficult to hit one so score goals win games to earn shots use shots to unlock points on the target points equals players those are the basic rules of the series and the whole premise behind it now on your screens right now is a list of the rules for this series it tells you how many shots we earn on the target for doing certain things within games for instance you score a goal with suarez you're going to earn a shot on the board also if a teammate scores a goal but suarez gets the assist then you're going to earn yourself that one shot again so it's basically telling you that if suarez is involved in the goal you're going to earn yourself a full shot on the target we'll win an extra shot if we win the match and we'll actually have to remove one if we lose and one of the best rules is that we will double whatever we get in the next match if our opponent rage quits so now you understand how we unlock shots on the target we now need to use those shots to hit the target to unlock points to unlock players so on this list you'll be able to see just how many points it will cost to unlock a player of a certain category as you can see the higher rated the player the more points it's going to cost to unlock them so to make it a little easier for you to understand We've got these graphic images here of the teams and the players that we're going to unlock along the way. One of the squads we'll be unlocking is a Barcelona team. So as you can see, any of the silver players, they're going to be nice, easy two-point unlocks. Uh, and as we get higher and higher, you know, the likes of Iniesta, Neymar and Messi, they're going to cost you eight points to unlock one of those players, which means you're going to have to get some good shots on the target. Next up, I want to build a lovely La Liga squad because Luis Suarez will, of course, link to those players. We've got some lower rated, some silver, some medium rated, a couple of informs and also some high rated players as well and then finally i'm going to be building hybrids from time to time these will only be unlocking the other 10 players within a starting 11 featuring suarez so we'll be able to update and change these more often as we progress through the series it will be the barca squad and the la liga team which will stay as a backbone for the series as a team to always be able to use now in order to make sure we use every single player that was on those graphic images right there and so that we don't skip out on players and just, you know, earn ourselves eight points and unlock Messi straight away. Uh, you're going to have to unlock every single player from a category in order to move on to the next category. So the teams will go from our non-rare rubbish silver team up to a few silver players in it. And then we'll unlock a few of the lower rated golds, moving on to the medium rated golds. And then, of course, right towards the end, we'll be getting those higher rated players. Now, a maximum of three players can be unlocked every single game. So we're going to have to have scored a lot of goals to get a lot of shots on the target to earn a lot of points in order to unlock that many but who knows perhaps you have a 5-0 win where Suarez gets loads of goals and you literally are unindated with points to spend if that's the case you can spend your points but there's going to be some left over most likely so these shots and points can be kept in a bank style and I'll record how many we've got uh, in case we don't get to spend them all and they can be used after the next game for instance to unlock some more players so of course we will be starting off with these non-rare silver squads they're not particularly great to look at and I'm sure the players aren't exactly amazing as well but one thing's for certain Suarez will be playing in every single game so hopefully the Barca squad will turn from this into this I mean that's a pretty high rated team it's got the likes of Neymar and Messi and all of that 
good stuff in it. And because I've got so many of the other Barcelona players up for grabs, like the lower rated silvers, the lower rated golds, uh, this will be a progressive team which will come as we move throughout the series. The La Liga squad is going to be in the 4-3-2-1 formation and it's going to go from this to this silver and mid-range gold La Liga squad to this final beastly very high rated La Liga team featuring the likes of Inform Konoplyanka, Gareth Bale, Modric and Tony Kroos. And then the hybrid squad is the thing that will be changing up the most throughout the series because there'll only be the other 10 players to unlock and then we can move on and unlock and make a new hybrid. The first one I've gone for is a regular standard 4-3-3 which will of course start with the same non-rare silver players and eventually end up with a pretty cool team like this. It features actually some low rated golds, some informs and also some high rated golds that will be a little bit harder to unlock like Neymar. I feel like the rules that I've created for this series should keep it flowing nicely for you guys and make it a nice lengthy series for you to watch. I hope to upload this series every single day throughout December to really keep you guys engaged and you know not have have to wait too long for the next episode. The only thing I can ask for you guys is your support. Leaving comments in the section below and hitting the thumbs up button on this video will really motivate me to keep pushing these out every single day. With that being said, if you are looking forward to us actually starting this series and getting into some games tomorrow, then hit that thumbs up button right now. Thank you for all the support. Let's see the comment section go crazy as well. Uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow night where we will get this fully underway. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm so excited for this series and I'll catch you tomorrow night. Peace.